In this third video on the filters tool set, we will focus on two filters in particular, the hue colorize and the blur filters, and how they can be used to create abstract backgrounds from just about any source image you want. Ideally, you would select a high quality background to begin with, but in some cases it can be very useful to be able to create an acceptable background from whatever images you might have on hand. We'll also briefly look at the hue shift filter which can also be useful for this purpose, but is only available in PhotoKey 4 Pro. So to start with, if we switch over to the Import tab, and just real quick turn off our foreground, you can see that here the background image we've selected is a half-decent photo, but it's a poor choice as a background for this particular foreground. But, if we can switch back and we'll go to our Background tab, and we apply some blur to that image, we'll just blur it all the way out, you can see already we have a sort of shallow depth of field being created and the background works much better. Now, one thing you will notice when using this technique is that the edge of the background will feather out as you blur it. As a result, if the edges of the background are too near the edges of the canvas, they will become transparent, so you may need to adjust the scale or position of the background just a bit. Then, if we switch back to our Filters tool set, we can change the colors in this background by using the Hue Colorize filter. Let's turn the strength all the way up and you can see how that instantly colorizes it to red, which is the default starting point for that filter. But then as we run through, you can switch that background to just about any color that you'd like. So maybe we'll go for kind of a aqua sort of color somewhere in there. And you can see that very quickly with just a couple of adjustments, we've created a much better background than the breakfast photo that we started with. Now, in place of the Hue Colorize, I'll disable that for a moment, if you have PhotoKey 4 Pro, we could use the Hue Shift filter instead, and this has a different effect. Hue Shift allows a full range of color to be present in the image, whereas Hue Colorize ultimately creates a monochrome image, shifting all the colors present toward the one hue you select. So, in the Hue Shift, as we bring the Hue slider over, we still see some variety in the color of the background, but all of the colors present are shifted gradually through the spectrum as we move the slider. Here we have a different background image. This one is of an antique watch in a museum that I visited. I think it belonged to Buffalo Bill Cody, but regardless, it's not really an ideal backdrop for the picture that we're working with here. So let's use those same two filters, Hue Colorize and Blur, to improve it. We'll start with the Blur. I will turn the blur up a little bit less this time. We'll go to 155. And by not setting the blur quite so high, uh, we retain a little bit more of the shapes that are present in the background. Of course, we you can't really tell that that's a watch back there, but you can see the shapes a little bit more clearly than if we just turn the blur all the way up. So then we can go into the hue colorize as well and turn the strength all the way up again. And then we'll shift this well into the blues there. Now on this one, what we're going to do to introduce a little bit more of the original color back in to get some variety is we're going to turn the strength slider down. We'll just bring that down to the mid-70s, and there you have it. Once again, with just a few quick adjustments, we are able to create a workable background from an image that, at first glance, might appear useless for this project. You can start to see the variety of backgrounds you're capable of, as using just these two filters we can basically create a background in any color we want. All right, let's look at one more image. This is actually the hold of a ship, a tall ship that I went sailing on this last year. And as a photograph, it's not all that useful for anything. It's just a bunch of storage and whatnot. But using those same two filters, the hue color eyes and the blur, we'll create a background using that image that works much better for the foreground that we're processing. Let's keep the blur setting a bit lower, maybe 120 or so, which allows us to still see some of the structure and geometric lines that are present in the original image. And then in the hue color eyes, turn the strength up. Let's go maybe a little bit farther there into the purples, and then reduce the strength a fair bit. Now those have gone kind of pink, so maybe we can adjust them, shift that hue a little bit further in toward the blues to get our purples back. And there we go. We have once again created a background which serves the purpose. 
It's not ideal, perhaps, but given the source image we started with, it's certainly a vast improvement. We have stuck with the hue colorize and hue shift filters for this demonstration, as those filters are available in all versions of PhotoKey 4. But if you have PhotoKey 4 Pro, you could use some other filters. You could use defocus in place of the blur that we've been using for a more accurate lens blur, or you could use the hue shift in place of the hue colorize, as we touched on in our first example. Well, this video concludes our examination of the filters toolset. Next, we will look at using the position toolset to fine-tune the scale, rotation, and position of your foreground and background layers.